Ag amazing day to all. This is Teacher Dan Rogayan, and welcome to another episode of our research talks. Marami sa akin mga colleagues, mga research buddies, and even mga friends ang lagi ng tatanong sa anong ba pwedeng magpublish. Well, marami naman tayo mga journals na pwedeng pagpublish sa ng ating mga research works, and one of uh, the options are actually the Ched recognized journals. Pero tingnan na natin, ano nga ba itong mga Chad Recognized Journals na to? Well, kabilang dito ang mga journals na naka-index sa ASEAN Citation Index or yung tinatawag na ACI, Scopus Index Journals, at yung mga journals na naka-index din sa Web of Science or yung dating tinatawag na ISI of the Clarivate Analytics ngayon. Pero in this video, I, I would like also to share with you yung mga CHED recognized journals base sa journal incentive program ng uh, CHED from 2017 to 2019. Pero bago yon tingnan muna natin yung brief uh, background ng CHED journal accreditation sa Philippines. So in 2012, nagkaroon ng CHED Memorandum Order Number no. 5 kung saan Uh, nilalaman nito yung revised guidelines for CHED accreditation of research journals at pagpo-provide ng incentive para dito. Uh, dito na-highlight yung tinatawag na JAS or the Journal Accreditation Service kung saan ina-encourage ng Commission on Higher Education ang Philippine Higher Education Institutions or HEIs at ibang mga organization to, sub to submit their journals uh, to be accredited as peer-reviewed or referee journal. But in 2016, nagkaroon ng guidelines ulit ang CHED for the JIT. Yun yung tinatawag natin Journal Incentive Program. At yun yung i-share ko sa inyo na no mga journal sa Pilipinas ang na-qualify at na-grant ng JIT uh, grant na kung saan these particular journals um, qualified for based on the standards set by CHED. Ang JIP ay nahahati sa dalawa, the Journal Challenge at yung Journal Incubator or the Journal Incubation. For the Journal Challenge, it caters to Scopus or Web of Science Index journals and aims to support activities that will lead to an increase in scientific citation, excluding self-citation, and promote social media presence and public engagement profiles of scholarly articles in the journal. Dito, uh, binigyang diin ng shed na ang mga scholarly articles must be shared online through social media like Facebook or even Twitter for a uh, higher engagement and higher reach no for higher reach ng audience so this is one of the metrics na sinet ng Ched para uh, masabi na there's an impact no apart from the citation another is the journal incubator support Promising Philippine journals towards the task to meet the minimum generally accepted standard for Scopus or Web of Science indexability. Ito naman yung mga na-qualify na journal na uh, hindi pa index sa Scopus and Web of Science. But through the program, through the incentive, uh, that particular grant will help them increase their quality and eventually be indexed into Scopus or Web of Science. Now, dalawang batches ang uh, nag ang nag uh, ang recognition no the batch 1 is based on the CMO number 50 series of 2017 at yung batch 2 is based on CMO number 66 series of 2017 as i mentioned earlier ang mga journal journals na to ay na recognize from 2017 to 2019 so kung magtataka uh, kung magtatanong kayo nagtataka kayo kumusta from 2020 onwards is 2021 na tayo in 2018 Parting December 1, 2018, nagkaroon ng temporary suspension ng incentive program for journals. So according to the Ched Care, this program for journal support will be temporarily placed on hold starting December 1, 2018. So since uh, December 1, 2018 up to present, ay walang journal accreditation or walang journal incentive uh, program ang Commission on Higher Education. Laging... Uh, maraming nagtatang sa akin whenever I share a particular journal na pwedeng mag-publish ng work. Uh, some scholars, some researchers would always ask me, CHED recognized ba yan or CHED accredited ba yan? So, as I mentioned po, this, since December 1, 2018, walang ginawang accreditation 
or walang incentive program ang um, Commission on Higher Education. There's still a uh, review in the guidelines for this pro for this program, and hopefully, um, in the years to come or probably, uh. Months from now, magkakaroon na ng uh, bagong guidelines ang CHED for journal uh, in incentive program or probably in journal accreditation. Now, I'd like to share with you, as I mentioned, the uh, uh, journals na nakapag, na qualify for the JC and the JI grant. So first, we go for the JIP Journal Challenge Grant. So unang journal dito is the Asia-Pacific Social Science Review of the De La Salle University. Uh, you can actually um, submit your work uh, which is, of course, related to social sciences. This particular journal is ACI, or ASEAN Citation Index Journal and Scopus Journal. So you can just check this link, or you can just go to Google and search for the name of the journal. Another is the Philippine Studies Historical and Ethnographic uh, Viewpoints. This is also another journal, another good journal, published by Ateneo de Manila University and indexed in ACI, Scopus, and Web of Science, particularly the ESCR, or the Emerging Sources Citation Index of the Caribbean Analytics. So you can just go to the link or just search the name of the journal online. Another uh, journal where you can submit your papers or research articles is in the Philippine Journal of Systematic Biology. So this is a journal uh, concerning systematic biology, taxonomy, systematics, ecology, and even conservation biology. This particular journal is ACI Index, Scopus Index, and Web of Science Index. So you can just go to this link or just search the name of the journal online. Another uh, journal under JC Grant is the Humanities Diliman, a Philippine Journal of Humanities of the University of the Philippines Diliman. Uh, this particular journal is ACI and Scopus Index. So if you have papers related to humanities, this particular journal is very uh, appropriate for your articles. Another, if you are into philosophy, critique and online journal philosophy is a good avenue where you can publish your work. It's an ACI, Scopus, and Web of Science Index journal. Another is a journal of environmental science and management of the University of the Philippines, Los Banos. This particular journal is indexed in ACI, Scopus, and the Clarivate Web of Science. So you can just go to the link or search Journal of Environmental Science and Management in Google so you can submit your work. Another good journal where you can uh, submit your work is the Philippine Journal of Veterinary Medicine. If you are into vet med, uh, this particular journal is indexed in ASEAN Citation and Clarivate. Uh, web of science. However, Scopo, its Scopus index coverage uh, was only from 2008 to 2019. Another journal for those who are working on a philosophy of, or those who have uh, papers uh, pertaining to philosophy, Philosophia International Journal of Philosophy is a good platform. It's an ACI and Scopus index journal. Uh, this particular uh, journal is published by the Philippine National Philosophical Research Society, or the PNPRLS. Another JC Grantee journal is the DLSU Business and Economics Review of the Dallas Hall University. Uh, this particular journal is both indexed in ACI and Scopus. So you can just check uh, this link or just visit the journal for author guidelines if you wish to submit your paper related to business and economics. Acta Medica Filipina of the University of the Philippines, Manila is another JC grantee and it is indexed in ACI and Scopus. So if you have papers related to uh, basic and clinical medical or health related researches, uh, this particular journal is uh, a good avenue for your research papers. Medica Cultura of the Ateneo de Manila University is another good uh, journal where you can publish your um, research articles related to language and literary or cultural studies. So this is an API, Scopus, and Web of Science, particularly Arts and Humanities Citation Index. So there you go. So these are actually the journal challenge uh, journals, JIP uh, grantees on JC, uh, where you can submit your paper. You can go and visit their website, check the aim and scope, and 
sub, uh, I check the author guidelines if you wish to submit your papers here. Another are actually the JIP Journal Incubation Grant Awardees. So these particular journals are uh, JIP uh, Journal Incubation Grantees. First here is the Normal Life of the Philippine Normal University. So if you wish to, su parang, to submit your work related to education, teacher education, this is a really very good journal. I was able to, we were able to publish our work here uh, on science education phaser study with my mentee, uh, Ben Harrier Yusha, and my colleague, Professor Karen Invest. Also, uh, one of my colleagues was able to publish here, uh, Professor Leia F. Doliette. So this is also a very good journal. It's indexed in a CN Citation Index and also Andrew Gonzalez Philippine Citation Index. So you can just go to these particular websites, register in the uh, in, in the website and submit your paper. Another is PRISM of the uh, Negros Oriental State University. This is a JI grantee. You can just check the link if you want to submit your paper in this particular journal. Philippine Journal of Public Administration is also a good um, journal if you are into public administration. You can check the link here. This is actually a journal from the University of the Philippines, Philippines. Another good journal is the Bicol University R&D Journal. It is indexed in Andrew Gonzalez Philippine Citation Index. So, yeah, I'm planning also to submit my work here. This is a, a, a good journal from the Bicol University. Also, we have the Palawan Scientists. Uh, this particular journal is indexed in ACI and Clarivate Analytics ESCI or the Emerging Sources uh, Citation Index. Uh, this actually accepts papers to, to multidisciplinary disciplines, specifically on the fields of agriculture, fisheries, and aquatic sciences, environment, education, engineering, mathematics, sociology, and related disciplines to include arts and humanities. Um, this 2021, I attempted to submit uh, a paper here, so uh, still pending for, uh, for external review. Another is Kasarinland, Philippine Journal of Third World Studies. So this uh, particular journal is published by the University of the Philippines, Philippines. Social Sciences and Development Review is another JI grantee of the CHED JIP. Uh, this is published uh, by the Institute for Social Sciences and Development of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, or PEB. Another is the Journal of Educational and Human Resource Development for GERD. Uh, this is an ACI, a CN Citation Index Journal. Uh, yeah, I will actually uh, try also to submit my work here. One of my colleagues has submitted her work here. So this is a really good avenue for papers related to education, human resource development, and related fields. Another journal is Asia Pacific Journal of Multidisciplinary Research, or the APGMR. Uh, this is an ACI index journal, and it's a multidisciplinary journal. If you have uh, uh, papers that you would like to submit in this multidisciplinary journal, you can just go to other website. Here's the website, and you can check the, uh, the submission guidelines. Another is the Mindanao Journal of Science and Technology. This is also a very good journal. Uh, ACI Index, COPOS, and the Web of Science Index. Uh, this is published by the University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines, or the UST. Another good journal is the Philippine Journal of Medicine of Our Lady of Fatima University. If you are into medicine or uh, related fields, you can submit your paper. Science Diliman is ACI and Web of Science journal. It's uh, in it actually accepts papers on pure and applied sciences, uh, published by the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Also, we have Recoletos, Multidisciplinary Research Journal uh, of the University of San Jose Recoletos, or USJR. This is an ACCI index journal. If you have papers with um, multidis in multidisciplinary disciplines, you can submit your work here. Okay. 
We also have the Journal of Science and Engineering and Technology, another uh, JI grant from the Southern Lake State University. It's an ACI journal, and if you are into engineering and technology or economics and other related fields, you may submit your paper. The Philippine Journal of Auto Learning, Geology, Head, and Neck Surgery is also an ACI and a JIPJI grant. So you can check this uh, journal if you are into this area and uh, submit your work. Total Science Diliman is an ACI index journal. It accepts papers on social sciences published by the University of the Philippines, Diliman. So there you go. This is actually the, the summary of the journal incubation grantees uh, given uh, by the Commission on Higher Education from 2017 to 2018. So if you're having a uh, difficulty no, na pumili ng journal kung saan mag kung saan ninyo gusto ng submit yung mga research articles or research papers, you can check this uh, journals. Uh, these are very reputable journals. Most of them are ACI, Scopus, and Web of Science Index. So you can uh, you can check them and uh, submit no submit your work in this particular journal. So yun lang yun lang yung gusto ng ishare sa inyo sa episode nato. Maraming maraming kung salamat. And always remember, let us publish and flourish. Once again, this is Teacher Dan Rugayan, your Ag Amazing Guru.